Here we are in the deep jungles of Africa in the Karasoki with famous scientist and researcher Diane Fossey. If you want to learn about gorillas and get to know Diane Fossey and shall she work with gorillas up close and personal, then listen to this interview. Hello Diane and thank you for joining us for this important interview. Will you please start off by telling us a little bit about your childhood? Um, well, when I grew up um, very poor and at the age of three, uh, when I was three, my parents got divorced. Mm -hmm. Tell us a little bit about your dad and what influence he had on you. Well, my dad was very loving, but my mom was very selfish and my dad loved animals and that's one of the influences. Did something happen in your childhood that really showed how much you loved animals? Uh, yeah, um, I, begged my, I begged my mom to get a goldfish and so I, meant, I begged my mom to get any kind of animal and so she did that and so, um, so she got me a goldfish and then I just, uh, when it died I cried for a week. Wow, so you must have been really attached yeah. to your pet and really connected to animals. So when you grew up and went to college, did you? why did you study business? before you even went to veterinary school, and then why did you quit veterinary school and study occupational therapy? Uh, because I don't, um, well at first I studied business because I needed to make my mom happy, and... Why didn't you stay in veterinary school, since you loved animals? Oh, uh, well, I couldn't, it was too hard. Uh-huh, and then occupational therapy, what did you like about that? Well, I could help animals. And then I could help people, and I thought that was a nice idea. Uh-huh. Wow. So then you studied occupational therapy and went to Kentucky, and it's very beautiful in Kentucky. There's a lot of nature where you moved, and you met a family that was really special to you. Uh, yeah, yeah the Henry family. Yeah. And tell me, what was, what was special about this relationship? Well, she loved animals, too, and she, oh, she worked at the, the the um, children's hospital? Yeah. Mm-hmm. Too. So that's where we met and her mom was very loving, not like my mom who was selfish. Mm. And her mom was Catholic, did that matter to you? Oh yeah. Um her um she she really helped me and she was strong and Catholic and I saw in that like gave me experiences and then I thought to be a Catholic too. And then devote your life to helping others? Yeah. And then your friend, she went to Africa. How did that impact you? Well, um, I, I got really, I got really excited and now I wanted to go and so I got a big, um, loan and so I went to Africa and then I met Louis Leakey who gave me a very hard, um, job to go up a really steep mountain and that every step step I step I took the air got thinner and thinner. And that made it hard to breathe up at that altitude? Yeah. Mm hmm And in the Karasoki, what kind of work did you do for Lois Leakey? Well I studied gorillas and I took notes and I made magazines and I made some stories. Mm. And National Geographic came and and they caught something really special on film. There's a picture of you and, um, and touching an, a gorilla named Peanut. What happened that day? Well, that day, this little gorilla, Peanut, I found him and he was just hanging on the trees while I was alone. And then he swooped down and I, I said, oh my gosh, it's a gorilla. And then I, I, pulled, I held out my palm because gorillas have palms like us. And he gave me his hand too, and it was really, I was the first one to become that close to a gorilla. Wow. Huh. And then you're holding two gorillas right now. Who are they? Oh, this is Coco and this is Pucker. Did you name all the gorillas you met? Yeah. Mm, interesting. So you got to have personal relationships with them. Yeah. What, what was special about Coco and Pucker? Well, they got really hurt by poachers. And, and they and the poachers wanted to sell them to zoos. I helped Coco and I helped Pucker. Became very best friends. 
and then they had to go to the zoo sadly. They still had to go to the zoo, but you yeah. saved their lives. Uh-huh. Uh-huh. What do what do poachers do? And and what did what did you do to help stop poachers in their work? Um, well I I danced around the fire, um, wearing masks. And I, I took down their traps, which scared them away. Mm. Well, most of them. So when you danced around the fire with a mask, was that called voodoo? Yeah. And that voodoo scared the poachers? Uh-huh. It was very fun. And at the same time, um, the poachers were running away, which was really good. And then you and your assistants took their traps out of the jungle? Yeah. And, and destroyed some of their traps at their camps, too? Uh-huh. Huh. Okay. And then, um, and then I know that you left the jungle for a while to get your doctorate once, and then you left again to go to the University of Cornell to teach. Why did you return to the jungle the third time? Um, because I, I had a really, I love these animals, and I was like, oh my gosh, what am I doing here? I have to go study it. And I, I couldn't take it because it was too much for me, and I just wanted them back. Mm, so you really felt like your heart was in the jungle. Yeah. And you return, and um, and you return and found the same groups of gorillas that you knew before. Yeah. Uh huh. I know something really sad happened at one point in time with Digit and some other gorillas you knew. What happened? Um, they died. Did poachers kill your gorillas? Mm -hmm. That's awful. Um, and Diane, you wrote a famous book about your work with gorillas. Yeah, it's called Mist, uh, Mist with the Gorillas. Gorillas in the Mist. Yeah. I really would like to read that book sometime. Thank you so much for all the work that you've done. Um, I, th I think that I have to say that there was a really sad ending, right? Yeah. Yeah, I have to make this posthumous comment that um, after Diane Fossey returned to the jungle, she was actually killed in her cabin, right? Yeah. Um, I got a note, like a death note, and I knew that. And so then um, a poacher came in, and some people think it's a poacher. A lot of other people think it's other pe others. Um, but they still do what I'm doing. Well, Diane, we know that your devotion and love of gorillas really taught us a lot about how gorillas and humans can have relationships with each other and how in many ways we're alike. And it could even be a sign of evolution, of how people may be related to gorillas. Do you believe that, Diane? I do. <laughs> Diane, thank you so much for your time. Your jungle is beautiful. And, and so are your gorillas. Thank you. Bye. Bye.